Hello there, welcome to June 2019, paper one of A2 Maths. Here we're looking at question nine, so let's get stuck straight into it. Given that A is greater than B, which is greater than zero, and that A and B satisfy the conditions of log A minus log B equals log A minus B, show that this expression here is true. So what it means by log is just any log. It doesn't really matter what log we're working with, it's just log. So don't worry about the base that's missing, it just means any log. So what we're looking to do is um, simplify this then. So the first thing I'll do is simplify the left hand side by using the rule of subtracting logs. You divide what's inside the um, logarithms equals log a minus b. Now we cancel out the logs, so it's going to be a over b equals a minus b. In fact, I don't know why I put brackets around that really. It's just a over b equals a minus b. Looking to make a the subject, I think the first thing I'll do is I'll multiply by both sides by b, so it'd be a b minus b squared. Let's now subtract, in fact, let's move all the a's onto the right hand side. Let's move that b squared onto the left hand side. The next thing we need to do then is factorize out the a from the right hand side and then divide it onto the left hand side. So uh, b squared over b minus one equals a. So therefore, a is equal to b squared over b minus 1. Lovely, there we are. So that's the answer to part A. And moving on to part B now, write down the full restrictions on the value of b, explaining the reasoning for the restriction. Okay, so looking at this thing here, we want a to be positive. Now, and with b is definitely going to be positive as well. So uh, for a to be positive, b should also be greater than 1, because if it was in between 0 to 1, then this denominator would be a negative number, and you'd be doing a positive number divided by a negative number, which would lead a to be negative. So it strictly must be the case that b must be greater than 1. So that is now the new restriction on b. Uh, yeah, so there we are. Yeah, that's the answer to this question here. So that's uh, five marks for this one. Not too bad. Question nine here. Let's move on to question 10.